Okay guys, um, it is 9 a.m. on a Friday and first day of classes naman today for junior year. I'm already connected to Zoom and I'm just gonna do skincare while waiting for our professor to start. Okay, I'm gonna off for no reason. Hi guys, welcome to Voice Over Sophia. <laughs> Third year or junior year means that all of my subjects, almost all actually, are majors now and it is officially harder and more serious than first year and second year. So, medyo kinakabahan ako but don't worry, I'll bring you guys along with me. First subject is Psychometrics 1 and Psychometrics is basically the science of psychological measurement and if you're from our field which is psychology or behavioral science, being a psychometrician is actually one of the career paths that you can take in the future. So this was a very interesting subject and it's also led by my favorite professor. Okay, change venue because I'm starting to get sleepy. We are currently on a five minute break since we are about to start. Oops. Since we are about to start our first lesson, I think. Oh, sige. Okay, attention to detail. Sabi ni Aliana, no? Organize. Sabi ni Miss Kitasa. Kasi ikaw nang ayun nag-aayos ng pals. Kailangan organize. Hey guys, time check. It's already 2 p.m. and kaling kaling na pa natapos yung class namin. And I have another one in an hour, and it's called social psychology, which I'm super excited for and also at the same time super nervous for. But <laughs> we're gonna see how it goes. Right now, I'm just gonna get something to drink. Thank you. <laughs> Before my class in an hour, I want to share with you my current dilemma. Because last year, one of the problems I encountered was that I didn't have a consistent note-taking method. I would sometimes handwrite my notes on good notes. Sometimes ita type ko sila sa Word. Sometimes I'll use Notion. Sometimes hindi ako mag notes and stuff like that. And ang nangyari is ngayon na gusto ko silang balikan and a review ulit. Hindi ko alam kung saan sila hanapin. <laughs> I didn't have a specific folder or a specific place for all of my notes, so now they're just everywhere and I can't find them. So this school year, I really don't want to do that again and I want to find the best note-taking method. The problem is with everything I tried, hindi ko alam kung alin dun yung pinaka-effective for me. I actually recently discovered this website called RemNote, which I'm super interested in trying out. Basically, it's a note-taking app that allows you to transform your notes automatically into flashcards. And then, yung flashcards nila, my system of space repetition technique. That's actually a very effective study method as proven by a lot of researchers and stuff like that. It's defined as this. Sobrang haba niya yung explain, pero yan yun. But yeah, I don't know if magugustuhan ko yung format or if it's actually gonna work for me. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. If only I can talk to you guys in person so I can ask you, ano ba yung ginagamit niyo for taking notes? Do people still use notebooks or Word or OneNote or stuff? Please comment down below and help your girl. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. First class for today is Theories of Personality or Personality Psychology. During the first week or any time we meet our professors for the first time, we usually just do a quick class orientation and then followed by an introduction lecture. So since three hours usually yung class namin, meron pa siyang time magturo talaga. Anyway. done and it was actually super interesting. Every Monday I have two classes and sa two classes na yun, isa lang yung professor namin. And sa two subjects naman na yun, both are very crucial especially if I want to advance my studies in the future. For example, I decide to take my master's, I'll need two of those subjects. So yeah, it's kind of scary but at least it's super interesting and I'm enjoying learning about it. Yung next subject namin is group dynamics but before we 
talk about that, I want to quickly do some planning. Since we don't have much deadlines and tasks that we have to do, I kind of use my planner as some sort of a diary. And instead of focusing on to-do lists, I focus more on um, taking note of events that happen during the day. And I actually really enjoyed it, so I want to keep doing it, but um, I want like my format to focus more on the task and deadlines that we will have in the future. So yeah, let's set it up. Do you hear the thunder? Late at night I start to wonder If you're looking back at me Will you be here for another eternity? I don't know what to do without you I'm being torn in two So this is the setup that I'll be trying out this week. So over here on top, we have my to-do lists. And then after that, I have a time tracker. I wanted to try this out so that I can divide my whole day into different sections. One for class, one for academics, where I can do all of my assignments and stuff. And then another for work. So I just ko to para it ng blocks. So it's kind of like time blocking, I guess. And then below that, I'll have space to write down what happened for the day, which I usually do at night before I sleep. Hey guys, good morning. Fast forward to August 19. Wala kami klase kahapon. So I really didn't do much except for watch Grey's Anatomy and Try Guys on YouTube. But today, I have an interview scheduled for USD UNICEF. And kinakabahan ako. So I'll bring you guys with me. I have five minutes till I have to join the Zoom. Should I join now para early ako or... Okay, I'll just see you there. I just finished my interview and hindi ko siya na-film because kinakabahan ako and nakalimutin ko i-press yung record button. But we are here now and... And this is not my first time to... Be in an interview for this organization because every year you need to interview if you're applying for like the core team. I'm talking about USD UNICEF by the way, which you should join because it's a great org. But anyway, you know when you're in an interview and you're supposed to like share yourself and persuade them into choosing you and accepting you as a member. Hindi ko pa natututunan new fine line between being confident and being mayaba. When I try to sell myself, I know I'm, I'm trying my best to be confident and I'm trying to like talk about my achievements, talk about what I've done right and stuff like that. Parang nakaka, nakakatakot and nakaka-anxiety siya na pwede lang isipin na nagbiyayabang ka. <laughs> Which I don't know if it's doing any good for me because it really like, parang feeling ko yung overthink ko but at the same time I feel like I do have to tone myself down a little bit. One of my fears is to be misunderstood, and it's worse when you're misunderstood as someone who is boasting. But yao na mama yung bang guys, gusto ko lang talaga maging part of the organization. You know what? The fuck am I saying? You guys go be confident. There's nothing wrong with it. Be proud of your achievements. And be proud of yourself and sell yourself. Okay, go get that job. No matter how much I want to do ahads and study right now, my eye hurts and everything I have to do is like update my notion, fix my notes, do my readings and all that, all of that is done on my iPad. I don't think my eyes can take any more radiation or blue light. I don't know what it's called, but it's making my eye hurt. Technically, I never really rest my eyes except for when I sleep. So that is why we are ending this vlog, I think, with a little bit of painting. I'm sitting here in front of our, what do you call this, front door, and I'm gonna try to paint 
what I see. And now I'm going to finish it. That's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye! One, two, three! Fuck it!